हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल विथ एन अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ फॉर्मूला वन सी एफ डी कार वेलकम बैक टू द डी पी डिजाइन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डन द बेसिक सिम्युलेशन ऑफ फॉर्मूला वन सी एफ डी कार अलॉट्स ऑफ गाइस आस्किंग फॉर द द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ड्रैग फोर्स द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ डाउन फोर्स एंड द कोफिशेंट ऑफ ड्रैग हाउ टू मेक एन इक्वेशन गोल्स वॉट इफ टायर इज मूविंग वॉट इफ ग्राउंड इज मूविंग ओके सो दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टफ वी विल कवर इन दिस वीडियो एंड maybe in the next video in the episode 3 we will do a dynamic simulation like uh, tires are rotating ground is moving also uh, we can check the drs if possible okay uh, according to the surface condition so let's get started we will cover in this video uh, the basic equation goal okay so how to create an equation for the coefficient of drag and how to interpret the results according to that so let's get started hope you will enjoy the video okay let's do it then okay in the previous video we have done the uh, like in the general condition we have done the external flow simulation the basic recap recap i am doing in the fluids we have selected the air flow type laminar and turbulent both we will do and also initial and ambient condition here i am taking the uh, velocity in x direction okay in this direction okay so it is in a plus direction so i will do it uh, minus 100 meter per second okay yo now so the arrow is uh, denoting the uh, vel velocity uh, the direction of the velocity okay i am apply okay next one we will move on to the boundary condition in the boundary condition uh, there are two types of walls are there okay the first one is for the intake parameters like inlet what is the inlet mass flow so these parameters not related these parameters are not related to this kind of simulation then the environmental pressure the static pressure you can give now we will talk about the real wall real wall and ideal wall real wall is basically what a uh, no slip condition in other software you you will know where real flu fluids are uh, sticking to the wall okay and also creating the boundary layer at the different locations so so i am basically creating the so if this is your flow and this is your ground this is your flow so at particular time is equal to u is equal to 0 u is equal to y so here it will so this can be also known as free stream velocity or oncoming uh, oncoming flow okay now it will create a boundary layer like this so the fluids are sticking to the wall and in the ideal wall there will be no friction so the ideal wall is uh, basically used for the uh, symmetrical objects if you want to make a symmetrical objects okay in the pipes also you can do uh, where it is no friction so in the no friction condition you can take a ideal wall so i am taking the real wall basically ideal wall creates a, like less uh, takes a less uh, computational time and real real words are uh, basically a complex type and it will consume a lot of your cpu time okay so coming back to this we will discuss this in later how to give a velocity and how to give a rotating regions okay next next one we will define the goals first in the goals you can select a point goals you can create a global goal surface particular surface a uh, volume goal and the equation goals so in the global goals we will select the there are two types of forces are there first one is a normal and second one is a uh, normal uh, force okay so what is the difference between them so this of uh, this force in the x direction this will create okay this will include the all various various types of forces which are acting in the x direction you can take this uh, force if you want to calculate the skin friction drag okay 
the skin friction drag will also be included in uh, this type this type of forces and the normal force we will only calculate the perpendicular force according to the uh, in the reference of the x axis okay so this is the difference uh, the major difference between the normal force and uh, the force so we will take a normal force in the x direction and the normal force in the y direction i am taking for the down force calculation of down force and next one is a coefficient of drag now how to create a equation goal so here you can build the here i am selecting the uh, any point okay so you can check out the where uh, you want to measure the force at particular point okay so I have next one is the equation goals in the equation goals if i'm i'm naming it a coefficient of drag okay then you can put out the two into drag force according to this formula okay so according to this formula 2 into drag force my drag force in will be newton the area into uh, area will be into meter square density kg per meter cube and velocity is equal it equal to mass uh, meter per second okay so this is the basic formula for the coefficient of drag so how to plot this formula into the equation so i am taking 2 into a drag force what will be my drag force in the x direction this one so here gg normal force okay in the x direction now divide by i am taking the taking into the this now my rho like density area and the velocity square so here you can put down whatever value you have calculated okay so here i have done the one equation 2 into normal drag force upon 1.27 1.37 1.27 is a basically your density of air 1.37 meter square is a frontal area of the car and 100 uh, and <coughs> 100 square uh, that is uh, my velocity velocity okay so here I am closing it, here you can check the and here you can select the unit, coefficient of drag are having a no units, ok. So ok, I will click the ok. Next, we will move on to the uh, meshing part. So uh, SOLIDWORKS is not basically uh, a very advanced in the meshing part, but uh, here this will separate this is the my basic meshing have, uh, have been done by the software itself so i'm adding this mesh and adding the uh, local mesh okay insert a local mesh then you can select the part okay select the surfaces where you want to refine the cells okay the level of refining school uh, <coughs> refining cells okay so there are lots of parameters are there the advanced refinement okay so here you can change the parameters according to your requirement so i am not uh, doing any changes in that because it will create a highest computational time for me it will consume a lot of time so i am keeping it unchanged now to calculate this three portions okay i will run the simulation if you want to take the previous result i don't want to take the previous result okay i will run and here you can see uh, this is preparing the model for meshing now now here my the val value of uh, my coefficient of drag is calculating okay the normal force and normal force in y direction the minus sign is basically uh, giving the direction that doesn't matter at all okay the list of goals have, cal have been calculated so i am closing it here you can check your cd value okay in this part so
okay so here is my cd graph you can check out this i am the solver is finished so we will go back to the post processing here you can check the mesh how your mesh have, have generated okay the cut plots now we will move on to the goal plots if you want to check the cd value the force value okay so i will click the insert and going on to the all or only cd cpu time iteration or travels you can the, the, uh, take the reference in the graph i will click on the show here is my value a 0.48 a coefficient of drag value so this is how you calculate the uh, coefficient of drag value and also you can edit the definition and also forces value you can also check these are my force value have been calculated in this computation graph okay so that's how you calculate uh, the equation goals that how you make the uh, in the equation like you can customize your expression yeah uh, this is basically i have done uh, the most usable uh, most usable parameters in the pi flow like uh, if you want to calculate the pressure drop in the venturi so you can ex uh, get the expression and uh, make an equation a customized equation according to your requirement okay so that's how you do it and uh, we will move on to the next uh, post processing part how you interpret the result and how uh, the how the fluid flow is flowing so in the previous video we have done the basic uh, post processing here you can check the dynamic trajectories okay in the dynamic trajectory we have two options the arrows are there and the spheres are there so in the so in the arrows we will decrease the size the distance between them like i'm creating 20 and here i'm changing the parameter to velocity plot okay here you can crop the region it will basically create a computational domain the constraints you can check okay now i will select the the front wing part for the fluid flow okay you can check the best base generation i will create the 50 so here you can see how the fluid flow is flowing right and also you can play you can save it to the animation as well if you want to animate here you can change the scene you can see that okay now there will be a customizable like i am not using it very Oftenly, but still you can select the mesh, mesh based on or point based on rectangle sphere where you want to create the from where it will start you can decide that so I am taking the line okay these are my lines so I will create the 50 I am creating the uh, I will keep it a hundred. Okay. Next one, okay. So, see. You can see that. As I'm editing this, so I'm creating a rectangle. So, press, press. Moving 
getting to the this part and moving to this part and I will create a 200 for better visualization of the fluid flow so that's how you process the results and in the advance like you can create your customized cut plots the iso lines only for the iso lines the velocity i will turn off the contour make it transparent and the velocity display values so i will click it off so here you can see the major changes in velocity area you can see that in the iso lines the major changes are there okay so here you can select the zero this is the offset from the plane only you can change that so i am taking the 255 iteration yeah here you you have the better visualization where are the stagnant points where the stagnancy effect can takes place okay where the velocity is uh, changing so and also you can change to the vectors the streamlines the streamlines this will not give you a um, like detailed idea i'm not using it the streamlines but vectors yes the iso lines is very helpful tool for uh, the check the parameters so here you can see that the pressure values so that's all for today and we'll meet in the next video for how to give a rotating tire regions okay so thank you for being here and thank you for support uh, jai hind